This is Cytoscape 372, and we're going to be looking at an RSI3 use case from the F1000 research paper. RSI3 is the bioconductor R package that allows you to connect to a local running instance of Cytoscape from within R. Uh, the use case we're going to look at today is an enrichment map use case. What this lets you do is take enrichment results like gene set enrichment results and produce a map of the enriched terms, um, annotating them with word cloud results uh, for the based on the titles or descriptions of those enriched terms to give you a higher level view of the biology that was affected by your results. The code in this use case is available as an RMD linked to below. And so we'll open that up in our studio and run it live here in a local instance of Cytoscape. The RMD jumps right in with an install app command. So we have to first make sure, confirm that we have RSI3 installed and loaded. Um, and then we can run this first line. Install app. In this case, we're going to install an app called the enrichment map pipe, uh, pipeline collection, which is four apps all in one, including enrichment map, auto annotate, word cloud, and cluster maker two. So we'll run that line to install those apps. Optionally, you can run the second line to open the swagger docs and explore the enrichment map commands that are available. Uh, we're going to add and proceed with this particular use case and set of commands. Uh, so the first step is to load some results. Here we're going to use the entire Wikipathways GMT. That's a mapping of pathways in gene terms. If you have run an enrichment analysis uh, using Go or Pathways, um, you can load instead a GMT of the subset of enriched terms in genes uh, from your analysis. So this is just downloading a GMT file, again, including all genes for all the pathways in Wikipathways. And we're just going to produce an enrichment map for that full collection. This next line is the key line. It composes a command. It's the same syntax, command line syntax you would use running in Cytoscape directly. We'll go ahead and print that out. Um, so it, in, it invokes enrichment map namespace of commands and a specific command called build. And then there are a number of parameters, uh, the analysis type that we're going to do, uh, the GMT file that we're going to use. In this case, we're going to use the GMT file for the full human wiki pathways collection. And then some uh, cutoffs and parameters uh, you, can, you can set. Again, exploring the documentation for enrichment map uh, will explain these in more detail. To run this command, you simply use the commands git function in rsi3. And now we can watch in Cytoscape as it performs the enrichment map calculation on all of Wikipathways and produces this clustered, uh, this uh, collection of clustered uh, pathways connected based on their overlapping gene content. The next command um, annotates these collections using auto annotate and word cloud. So again, we'll construct the command syntax. You can print it out here to take a look at it, reuse it directly if you want, and run it from RSI3 with the next line. This then uses word cloud um, assessment of the pathway names to give a title to each of these groupings. It's a lot to look at here because it's all of wiki pathways. Um, and so let's go ahead and just take a subset, a sub network of the first four clusters and repeat that annotation step. Now we can see in a bit more detail um, the actual pathways that are part of each of these clusters and the word cloud based titles um, that they're being annotated with.